All right, we're over here in Oakland with Matt. Say hi, Matt. Hello. All right, this is gonna be his future house. We're at 2451 Potomac, and let me grab Rafi back. One of the most extraordinary houses I've seen in a very long time. So a couple has lived here for, gosh, I think 40 odd years. They bought it in 1972, and they've turned it into one of the most kind of amazing places I've seen. There's not only technology and thought, but also landscaping and sort of the zen-like feel. So there is not a garage, but you park here, it's protected. You can obviously put a little trellis or something here if you really want, but that's kind of beside the point because when you go inside the house, I mean, this is that, you have rustling trees, it's really pretty. We're in a really good neighborhood in Oakland. That's coming up. Uh, we drove around the neighborhood and the houses are really nice as well. So coming in, the first thing you'll see is like you had this really custom wrought iron fence of some kind. And we're gonna go in here and take a look at this. I mean, this is just the front yard. There's a dog next door that barks, but I love the color of the house. There's some security cameras as well. You have lots of wind chimes. You have just, you know, really beautiful Japanese maples. You have a little water feature. And this is just the front yard, mind you. And that goes down to the backyard there. You have some really beautiful, God, some spruces. I mean, just specimen plants of everything. In fact, there's actually a garden walk this weekend. You have the hen and chicks. Wow, geez. So, uh, they lived here for 40 years and he owns a water sculpture landscaping company. Um, you can kind of see, here's another one, right? We still haven't even been inside the house yet. So it's that kind of California bungalow-y feel, which is really nice. There's Rafi, our puppy. He says, hello, right? And um, the first thing you'll notice, you got the illuminated doorbell. You've got a really nice uh, uh, entry set. It's a Baldwin and um, you're gonna, be really impressed I think. First thing you also notice here they've got the really nice Lutron system but they also have this on control like all on or all off but it's all here as well which is nice. You got these little flags it's decorative but you know it's a customizer and I actually really quite like this um, up here too. So we'll go downstairs in a minute but let's go in here. So this is the living room which is kind of nice. All the fixtures uh, everything is remodeled, you can tell. They all have um, the chrome molding with the picture rail too. These light fixtures are really just great. I like them a lot. I was telling Matt that they're all designer. Uh, here you've got the gas fireplace. Take a look out here. I mean, that's your view, which is kind of already nuts in the first place. You've got this built, great built-in um, uh, entertainment center in Hutch. And uh, the folks here love their technology. One of the things you can already tell too is that the electrical has been redone and these are all Lutron uh, designer um, outlets and it's really nice. And also here you've got the technology. You've got, I mean, I'd walked up to it and already started and so that's really cool. This is kind of your dining area, transition area. Um, we're gonna go into the first bedroom, which is up here. So they've kept the balance between old and new. They've got some, uh, the traditional uh, architectural millwork and detail and we're coming in here. Um, custom blinds for all of the house and they will stay. And, um, typically you get all of the blinds because you know why would they take them with them because they won't fit anywhere. You've got the single pane window here but it looks like it's been updated and repaired so it's the Roman shade that goes up and down. So get ready. This is your bathroom for this floor at least. Wow. Take a look at that. You've got the skylights, you've got beautiful uh, stone, I think it's travertine everywhere. You've got your little toilet in here. That literally just sprayed perfume or room clothes, and it's a Japanese toilet. Oh my goodness, with the remote and it cleans, there's a bidet. Wow, I can't even tell you how it smells here. It's so nice. Wow, sorry, that, this house just continues to impress. Take a look at your shower here, you go in, you've got uh, another skylight up there and your exhaust fan as well. You have more lights. Um, you've got the steam shower, I believe, the handrail, the things, wow. And the other great thing, hi Rafi, is that you have your storage in here. So you've got your combination closet drawers, everything's impeccably done, custom, it just feels solid. You've got really great hardware, you've got the jewelry drawers, you've got deep drawers here, 
um, room for ties and uh, dresses and whatnot it opens up and that's kind of a sneak peek of the um, garden that you'll see which is really just incredible that is really surprising too um there's radiant heat throughout most of the downstairs up here there's um forest heat as well there's Rafi taking a look taking a little rest here um here's that dining area like we said did you matt did you see what happens when you open the bathroom door no i didn't go take a look and see what happens at the bathroom <laughs> door i was super duper surprised here's a kitchen so it's a gourmet gourmet chef's kitchen too again you have tall tall ceilings you can tell skylights and they have power shades you can tell the shades can uh, open and close i think this might be an induction i'm not quite sure we have to take a look we've got the g monogram uh hood here you've got this beautiful um stone slash glass backsplash it's a square thing that's really rare oh my goodness i haven't seen this before look at that this neutron cover that's opaque this is all honed stone i think it's a soapstone there's your melee dishwasher which looks pretty spick and span take a look over here you've got your uh, on-demand filtered uh, hot water and cold water and you've got that and then take a look at that that's still such a sneak peek you've got the nice designer uh, lamp up there the Nielsen the oblong and then take a look at this you've got all this storage and you've got uh, the accent light I didn't even notice that until now too and over here you've got the sub-zero you've got the decor and you've got I think that's the decor as well yep the uh, uh, really beautiful oven, electric convection as well. You've got storage and um, your Lazy Susan. The, the features are just great. The wood floors are really comfortable, soft as well. That was a little cup for Rafi when he had a drink. A little alcove here and here are the shelves as well. So there is this. And let's take a look here. This is a little ante room. All the windows, or most of the the windows can open. And we'll see more. You can kind of see the garden here. It's pretty extraordinary. We'll see out here later. Again, you've got this old feature here. This is a, uh, a Venetian plaster. It's very soft and supple uh, as well. And you'll notice all there's lots of data connections and everything, which we'll see downstairs as well. So just I mean, look at that palm tree. I mean, it's just beautiful here. It's just out of this world. It's crazy. Um, so we're gonna go downstairs now. It's a very long video, I know, but I think you're getting a sense of why. So one of the coolest things we've seen uh, in his house, is, oh, there's stair lights here that, are, that they can illuminate. So you see this door down here. And this door is an interesting door because it actually can close off. And there's actually a little recessed compartment here for the door. And notice the hinges, well, they're not normal hinges. They're just this, all this entire thing as if it were a piece of furniture really just quite clever. Rafi's gonna say hi, he's gonna follow us in just a moment I'm sure. So there's another bedroom down here, a workroom and the access to the garden. So you've got all this built-in shelving here and you've got really tall ceilings down here as well again with the nice light fixtures. Here you've got a nice work area that's nice and bright um, whether you're to an office there or entertainment center who knows. Take a look there's even more built-ins here. Let's take a look. Now here's the bathroom and the no not bathroom sorry this is the laundry room again more shelving more storage i mean if you or if you are lacking storage here it is uh, washer dryer here and then down here it is uh it's a uh, radiant heat system you can see all the manifolds you can see uh, just a lot of technology integrated and if you don't know why i said about technology take a look back here it's almost, uh, I mean, basically it's a server rack or a network, um, gosh, network panel. It's kind of even more amazing than I think it is. Like, wow. There's a water heater back here and, uh, you know, the flues and the vent. And it looks like just a lot of just thought concrete slammed out here, which of course you have when you have radiant heat. Oh, and by the way, I mentioned there's a bedroom down here. So here's the next bedroom, which is also pretty incredible itself. Uh, again, you have a lower floor with a pitched roof, so that's really neat. Uh, you have a nice sitting area. Again, you have another nice uh, Nielsen lamp as well. You can kind of see the outdoors area. We'll give you a little sneak peek, but it's worth taking a look by itself. And there's Rafi who says hello. Take a look at the bathroom. So here's the bathroom. Here's um, the Toto. Again, you've got the home stone, all mirrored. It's really cool. 
you guys got it and take a look at this. You have your soaker jacuzzi tub that is, I mean, the stone is great. It's really deep. Uh, I mean, wow. It's kind of more than amazing. Maybe come here. So that's wrap these things low. You have a storage, a toilet, toilet as well. And let's take a look up here. So this is the piece de resistance. As I said, they love this home. They have done landscape architecture and um, water features. This is just one feature of the entire garden. The garden garden is just out of this world. So remember we walked down before, there was that little room we talked about. Japanese maples everywhere. Gosh, you can look at this. I love the color of the house. It's so rich, saturated. You've got water outlets everywhere. Take a look at these beautiful pieces of, I think they're flagstone, but look, it's all divided up. So you have a little water feature here. You have the variegated grasses. You've got your, I mean, geez, and you've got landscape lights everywhere. Um, a nice little grove of poplars that are coming up. Wind chimes. Take a look at that. I don't know if it does, if this video does it justice, um, but wow. So again, you've got this really lovely little pathway here. Take a look at these beautiful succulents. I mean, just having one of these is great. Kind of like the uh, light fixtures I was saying earlier, you know, just having one would be great. Here you have a whole room full of 10 of them. So it's just pretty extraordinary. There are speakers, I think, outside too. So let's take a look back here. There's also a lot of engineering and a lot of thought that went into this, that is going into this home. Apparently there's a brown water recapture system. So not gray water, but brown water. So the water comes down from the drainage here and it gets captured uh, and funneled over here or back there, which we'll see. So we've got a little garden structure here, more Japanese maples, a beautiful little sitting area, more Japanese maples, Japanese maples everywhere. I love Japanese maples, but wow. Take a look back here. I mean, it's just lovely. Look at that tree. Oh, so pretty. And then you've got some sculpture and you've got the little birdhouse. Apparently it's become a, a, a little migratory path for certain type of frog or crows. And take a look at that. I mean, just look at that. I mean, that's your, this is the house. I mean, my goodness, right? And let's go here. You've got a seating area and let's take a look at some of the engineering. I love how bold and bright those colors are. Uh, this is all wood decking to landscape sprinkled. So it's all automatic. Apparently, there was a weather vane, which we'll show you in a second. There's a big brown water collection tank, the gray water collection tank, manifolds, the sprinklers. I mean, look at this. It's so incredible. Uh, just pretty incredible. So a lot of complicated, sort of complicated things there, but the sellers are going to explain how the heck we use it all. Um, Wind chimes, just so beautiful everywhere you go. Uh, you know, here's here's one here that's lovely. Another one, a little less lovely, in my opinion, but really good, more cathedral-like. And there's just just everywhere. And then there's this, uh, gosh, you know, just pathways are so beautiful. The sprinklers, everything's automated. Oh, let me show you this. There's the. Um, the sophisticated weather vane. It's even more than just a weather vane, I think. But it tells you moisture and um, it tells the system automatically when to sprinkle or when to turn on because uh, we are in a drought tolerant or drought climate, even though it's been raining. But I mean, man, oh man. So just really great detail. I love the use of the mirrors and just, yeah. So this is the house. Uh, just an unbelievable oasis in a really nice neighborhood. Raffi, do you approve Raffi? He does, I think he does. But yeah, I mean, my goodness. This is just extraordinary. It's quiet, it's breezy, it's nice. You're in um, a great part of Oakland where you have easy access to Highway 13. You have um, just the technology, the layout, the thoughtfulness, the design. Um, yeah, it's just pretty incredible. So it's 2451 uh, Potomac here in Oakland and uh, gosh yeah so this is uh, Kevin Ho signing off it's just uh, what a beautiful house and uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour